Hey, Ask All Things Dentistry. I'm just, we're on vacation with the family. This is Michael, Hi. child number three of four. And this is a case, this lady, this extraction case had to do with, she presented with no pain, no nothing, just a radiographic presentation of a large radiolucency. And ironically, this is, she has an opposing denture of all things. You'd think from the radiograph, you can take a look somewhere here. It should look like she, it's cracked or some sort of thing problem and she has an opposing denture she's a smoker 62 year old female and I, why do you think she has such a presentation it's mobile class 3 Miller mobility we've got pocketing of I mean the whole probe swallowed up and of course she didn't want to save it so we elected to take it out and we did I'm just gonna put this in the back of your throat here Make sure you don't swallow your own tooth. It's okay. Any pain at all? Uh-uh. No. no pain? Mm -mm. I get to watch him flex. This is the best. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Is that the tooth there? No. <laughs> So I love looking at these teeth under a microscope because it can give you some hints as to why the tooth is in the situation it's at. So you look, we see some calculus, a lot of calculus. You can compare the calculus to the roughness on the distal aspect of the tooth. This is an endophile. It's just showing you this is tenacious tartar. It's not coming off fairly easily. And, you know, is this a perial endo lesion? Is this an endoperio lesion? What came first? Was it the periodontal prog problem? of the uh, syst systemic smoking, just some granulomatous material I'm playing around with it. And you know, was it, why did this tooth become necrotic and why was there such a lesion? Now imagine trying to debride all that material and say, yeah, we can clean that, we can save it. Well, taking a look at this table, you can see that this is comparing uh, regular scaling root planing versus flap surgery that Probing depths of greater than six millimeters, you have a 32% probability of cleaning the root versus only 50% with flap surgery. So this is the entire length of the root. Now trying to clean, debride that, we have a diagnosis of necrotic tooth with asymptomatic apical periodontitis, and we can do the endo, but we gotta clean and scale that root. And really, uh, this is from Dr. Scott Froome, uh, he's a periodontist and online I was reading one of his articles and one of his statements are can the depth of the defect i.e. the bottom portion of the tooth root be accessed completely and completely be detoxified to allow for tissue repair and regeneration and you know I mean that would be extremely complicated to do I found this really interesting situation online and we've we've got a tooth that was diagnosed as necrotic Likely a poor prognosis, but they tried the endo anyways in June 2012, and then the patient returned in January 2013 with a sinus tract, and you, and you can see there's absolutely no resolution. Now, you could argue that potentially the endo wasn't satisfactory and they missed the canal, but then there's the other part compared to as relative to the tooth that I extracted that maybe it was the periodontal problem, and this tooth, could you could do all the endo you want, and that's what she'll, that's why I wanted to you know, I was so interested by this situation to show it, to throw it up online and see what you think. Now, what I love also about doing this, and we're going to do the endodontic therapy in the next video on this tooth, is looking where the apices are. We have lots of micro CTs online. There's a great blog, uh, the micro root canal anatomy blog spot, and it talks about what is the apical anatomy. So here I'm looking for what is the size of the the, ap the apical constriction and where is it relative to the, the root apices itself. So this is the distal now and you can see how large that defect is. It's incredible and just based on the resorptive pattern which you can compare to the radiograph right now, you've got resorption, vertical loss of two structure, horizontal loss of two structure. So that's a 10 file comparing it to the apical constriction or remnants of the distal canal that has been resorbed. And it's I place this here because it's very thought-provoking in my mind to make sure that you clean and debride that the size of that apical constriction to have success in your endodontic therapy.
Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate your time. And please place your comments below. And you know, really, why do you think this tooth became necrotic when it's not cracked and it has an opposing denture? And also, don't forget to subscribe down below. Awesome. You got it. After 50 takes. <laughs> Cheers.